Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the Iron Factory War Giant Commander A EX24 which is the uh, C set uh, the third set for the uh, Bruticus Combiner but the problem is the second set hasn't come out yet <laughs> so yeah I've got the first one the third one so I'm very impatient on the second one <laughs> So, alright, we've got the box right here, Iron Factory 2017 on the side, War Giant photo on the side, and Onslaught, or Cannon Chariot, yeah, Cannon Chariot, yeah, alright, Onslaught on the side, and we've got nice pick of the War Giant fully combined on one side, Onslaught on the other, we've got the QR code, if you want to go and check out the Iron Factory website, and we've got a tiny bonus. This is the uh, black repaint of RC, of Iron Factory's RC, and she is pretty damn nice. Alright, so let's open this up. Let's not waste any time, because I want to play with this figure. <laughs> Alright, so focus. Ah. All right, so instructions are okay. Haven't had any problem with them. And if we take a look at this, Yonk, it's a big poster sheet. On one side, we've got the transformation into uh, torso mode, the combination of all the guns. Uh, we've got a statue mode. So in the meantime that we um, receive uh, the uh, second set, uh, we can just use all the extra part and have a bust mode, a statue mode. And this is the combination of all three uh, sets together, which will give the war giant. On the other side, it's the transformation of the robot mode into vehicle mode, and the combination of all the parts to uh, create an extra long trailer for Onslaught. So, uh... Pretty damn cool. <laughs> Let's set this aside. All right, and first off, before going into the onslaught figure itself, we've got in the back, hidden underneath the box, the black RC. I think this is a repaint that was made by Hasbro on HasbroCon some time this year or last year, and uh, yeah, she is pretty darn cute. Let's set. Let's open, let's take her sword out, she comes with two tiny sword and one giant blade that is also reminiscent of the uh, Hasbro officially repainted uh, special uh, that came out on the Hasbro con, so yeah, it's a really, really freaking cool blade, uh, plastic feels nice, <coughs> sorry, and it's quite light, so she can hold it up, and even with her tiny feet, she doesn't go down holding it if you balance her <laughs> and can we all balance Ooh, all right so she, she was standing much more stably stable like earlier all right so she can still hold but yeah the giant sword does not really hinder her so it's really freaking cool and she there's a second peg so she can hold it in two hands you know, like big ass chainsaw or <laughs> and yeah she too has two other smaller sword which are just a repaint of the original one that she had she doesn't have any pistol though which is kind of disappointing because I used a pistol into uh, uh, the transformation of the vehicle mode it really helped holding her together and here she is a closer look like nice help skull. Let's remove the uh, giant sword. So yeah, she is pretty damn nice. Uh, the head is on a ball joint. Goes side to side, up and down. The chest is also on a ball joint. Uh, the swivel is more at the waist right here. <laughs> uh, legs does bend the split like this. Uh, leg goes forward like this and backward way way up like this double uh hinge knee and a ball joint uh ankle so 
so yeah let's open this up the front is looking pretty damn good with the nice metallic paint for the windshield metallic for the front some pink accent on the side right here and on the side there and yeah she is really freaking cute and just for a small comparison here she is with our original self rc and <laughs> let's move camera a bit closer and here's a repaint and remold of elita one again the same figure just a different head and different color scheme we've got the trio all here and everything is blurry obviously so ah, pretty damn cool nice trio quick uh, transformation for her for those that don't know it don't her, uh, own her <laughs> You can uh, move the arms like this, move the arms on the side like this, move this all the way down and plug the arms into these uh, pegs underneath the wings. So peg it in and oops, I just popped their ball joint of the arm. All right, put this in. Come on, go in. All right. And then you just bring her feet up like this. And like this. On the double joint, which is quite tight. There you go. And here you go. This is what I was saying. The uh, pistol really helped holding the uh, legs together because the pistol used to tab in between the uh, ankles. But now there's nothing, so the sword could, I guess, but it just pegs in right here, like big, or maybe on the other side. Yeah, this is how it goes. All right, so we can peg the legs in using the giant sword. <laughs> kind of looks weird now, but yeah, it's a thing. And then you can hold, you can peg the. Uh, Swords on the other side of the ankles. Oops. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't look ridiculous at all. <laughs> Maybe like she just, you know, like uh, breaks too fast and. <laughs> anyway, this is Black Ninja RC. <laughs> Alright. And now let's move to the good stuff. So this is just our accessories of the double giant cannon in the back of uh, either the truck mode or uh, onslaught, uh, the, the war giant combined mode. So they can move up. They are really freaking tight. And they can also spin right here, which is pretty much all there is for uh, articulation set this aside this is unknown to me i have no idea what this is uh it pegs at the back of the trailer uh, the instruction shows that the fist can store inside of this but that alone uh what does it do where does it go uh the it, the instruction also shows like this all emptied up just pegs in the uh back of onslaught but still has no reasons to be there it's kind of weird so yeah maybe it will do something when i get the other set but in the meantime i'm just really bummed out with it <laughs> all right this side this is the back plate of onslaught so there's not much else to it uh it does have some wheels so when you want to transform it into a trailer mode you just open this up and it's pretty much it for now so yeah <laughs> let's move these aside and come back to onslaught let's move the camera back focus all right let's open this up gun really nice cool gun uh a little bit of paint at the tip of it focus 
focus right so yeah a little bit of paint right here which is nice we do have uh, articulation so this is the peg for onslaught and this is the peg for uh war giant and this move for some reason but yeah uh, for the combined mode, when you have all the weapons right now, we cannot combine him because the center piece is the gun for um, Vortex, I guess. Vortex or Blast Off. It's either one has the central piece. And yeah, so we can move this like this. And now you have a peg right here, peg right here, uh, peg hole here, peg here that you need to combine with the other guns. So we cannot combine them still together right now. All right, let's move this. We've got the crotch plate. A nice crotch plate with a cockpit in it, which is kind of odd, but... Hmm. <laughs> and not much else to say about this. The uh, skirt does move. It's just side up and down, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can transform it for trailer mode, so... Uh, move this down, move this down. So this is ready for trailer mode Right now, so let's just set this aside for now. I'm back with the chest plate and Bruticus is the head And yeah, it looks really nice Really nice up skull. The uh, head crest does move up and down. The antennas does move back and up This is mostly for the uh, Transformation into trailer mode and it's pretty much it the head does pivot but again it's more for trailer mode and speaking of which trailer mode you need to move the wings like this and then move the head like this uh, lower the cray the, the, the crest and move the antenna back like this and now the head uh, the, the ch chest shield is ready for trailer mode and move up to Onslaught himself. And he is really, really nice. A little bit simplified for the truck version, but yeah, still looks really damn cool. We do have the cannon in the back. The face sculpt is nice. We've got two uh, places to uh, put some stickers on from Faction Symbol. A nice uh, chest plate with a cool detail of gunmetal and gold. Yeah, it looks really freaking cool. The cannon can move back like this, back like this, or you can spin it around and have it like this over his head, <laughs> or just leave it like this. It's like you want. Articulation in the head is on a tiny. Uh, ball joint so it rotates and we do have a swivel at the upper at the shoulder right here it goes in like this and a ball joint at the upper shoulder we do have a swivel at the elbow and a double hinge for the elbow so it's really nice the fist does rotate we do have some waist swivel you can do the split and the legs does move like this but it on ratchet and it's kind of hindered by the uh, plate right here and you cannot move it so you're stuck with it the knee does bend but then if the legs is slightly turned it, it will get stuck so you need to have the legs straighten up and then the knee can bend and have a semi double joint there's also this uh, plate right here that needs to be flipped down so this will give them clearance and the foot is on a ball joint so it moves up down and flips side to side just a little so that's pretty much it for uh, onslaught really cool figure maybe a size comparison with uh, with his two uh, sets buddies here's a swindle and brawl right here and yeah, they look pretty damn nice together. There's a, there, this is gonna be a nice set. So the black RC that comes with the set. Here's Elita One. Oop. <laughs> Come on, hold Elita One. 
AMD. Oops. RC. Peaks the Iron Factory one. So yeah, cool, cool set. <laughs> Transformation. Let's put these aside. Alright, transformation into truck mode. Rather easy. So, first up, open up the chest, lower the head down, pop the chest back in, uh, flip the cannon on the other side. Uh, well, like this, so that the, it's filled up on the top. Uh, bring the hands up like this, flip them over like this, and make this, bring them up. So, flip over. Bring them up, focus, peg the arms together, flip the panels right here and they're gonna peg on the side right here, same thing on the other side. Next up you bring the legs in like this, flip the toes in, flip the toes in, and then you just squish, oink oink, like this, and bring it up, bring these panels Close them like this. They are gonna peg in right here. And yoink. Close these panel up. Close these up. And you're pretty much done. So we've got the truck mode all done. Like I said, very simple, but still works, still cute. Still very nice. It does roll, it does have some tiny wheels. Uh yeah. <laughs> it's just a basic truck. Now if you want to weaponize him, you can come and use these cannons and there's these two pegs right here that goes inside of the arms there. So you can peg this in. So now he does have the big cannon, which looks really cool. He does have another set of cannon right here. <laughs> now for the trailer mode, set this one aside. Trailer mode, you're gonna need to have the feet of the first set sort of like this open up the wheels flip the toes upward and open these uh, tabs up like this and leave these down like this next up you can bring these uh, rocket launcher I guess and peg them in side of the feet like this and leave this aside for now next up you bring this on and you bring the uh, chest shield and you flip it on the other side and you need to bring uh, the collar inside like this so bring the head looking down like this and you need to bring uh, this uh, the other side this right here there's two connector pegs right here that will go inside of the shoulder pads there's two holes you can see them so you need to bring this like this, snap this underneath the neck, bring peg these in, and then that tab right here is gonna peg inside of the hole right here. And close it in. Yeah, bingo. So now the head is underneath like this, the antennas are clear, the wheels are up. You can bring the connector in like this. This is gonna be Pain to pull them back in. Make sure they're straight, otherwise they won't go in like this. Whew, that was hard. <laughs> Next up, you bring the crotch plate. And the crotch plate, you flip it like this, and there's a tiny hole right here. The, the, this one, not this one, this one, the square one. And you peg the square peg on it. Like so. Finally, you bring the uh, torso. There's two pegs on here, and there's two pegs on the trailer of the uh, the feet part. So we just connect them like so, and now you have the trailer all done. All you have to do now is on the uh, crotch plate. There's three holes, and we only want these two, and these two will peg on the back of the gun, which is kind of odd. It's a re really odd connector. And now we have the trailer all done. And it looks really damn cool. <laughs> and if you want, you can place the tank on the trailer or the Jeep as you wish. 
the Jeep does feel kind of big next to the trailer truck. <laughs> it's really uh, not on scale, but then again, tank maybe, maybe tank fits. Jeep doesn't, but then again, the uh, blast off is supposed to be like a giant space jet, so <laughs> it should be that huge compared to the uh, much of a worry for the Transformers. If you want, you can remove the. Uh, yeah, these are really freaking tight. And you have more space for more vehicle on the trailer. <laughs> and yeah, it looks really, really nice. Uh, maybe just real quick, we can do the uh, bust mode. Let's just on. Uh, just take off everything from the trailer. Let me put everything in pieces. Alright, so construction of the bust mode. We need the feet first off. Like this, just flip the feet on the other side and close the panel up. Next up, you want to have this, which is a swindles uh, rack. And put it like this in the feet. Like so. And next up, you want to bring the uh, this one, the panel, the back panel and move them up like this and you just bring it all the way right here uh, this is uh, not gonna hold too much but it's just for now oops next up you want to bring the uh, chest shield and this is gonna be uh, going in here maybe like this and now you just clamp the chest over it like this there's two, two pegs right here and here that's gonna go instead of these two right here so hold this up peg these in peg the other one in like so there you go and in the back if you want to bring uh, the uh, cannons right here and the um, these up, bring this on like this. Oops, everything just unpegged. Bring the uh, like this. Put this on, and and finally the crotch blade. You just close it on like this. Move the skirt up. Move this like this, and just peg it on the uh how does it do it like this yeah just wink the are uh on a slide like this on the two pegs right here and can you all right crotches on like this this goes here and now we have the bust mode it doesn't really hold because I'm missing two pieces that um, it's probably gonna come with the other part <laughs> but this is how it looks and it's really damn cool now I'm gonna reserve the combined mode I'm not really gonna spend time on it but yeah I'm gonna show it once we've got the complete other set Ooh, again, it just keeps falling down. Like I said, only when I'm gonna have the other set, set B that is missing, blast off and vortex, which I'm gonna be showing the combined mode. So stay tuned until then. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.